How you guys doing? This is Aaron Grimes with the Edmonton Elks. Welcome back to Smooth Talk with AG. This month, Booster Juice Featured Smoothie is a watermelon explosion, and there's nothing I like more than smashing a watermelon head and having a drink with it. I'm sharing a smoothie with my boy, Konezy, mm. AKA Adam Konar, number 38 on the field, number one in your hearts. Thank you. Connor, how you doing? Fantastic, man. How about you? How's your smoothie? It's delicious. Do you like watermelon? Love it. Awesome. That's, that's amazing. That's Do amazing. you? Phenomenal. It is phenomenal. phenomenal. We're trying to get the fans to know a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. What's one thing you don't think these fans know about you? Um, one thing that they don't know. Uh, probably that... Uh, NHL 2015. It doesn't matter if they okay. know the oh, that's, where we, that's where we're going, huh? That's Water where we're going. <laughs> okay, okay. I got a question. Yes. You think if we took a poll? Yes. Who would look better in their bucket hat, me or you? Or uh, you or I? Ooh, that's a tough question. Okay. Depends if people like ponytails or not. Speaking of, yeah. who's got the best ponytail on the team? Uh, that's a tough question. Um, there's a couple options. There's Ante. Um, myself, when I decide to have one, which I never do. If he doesn't say my name. A, yeah, AGZ. I'd go with AGZ. <laughs> Man, that's crazy you say that. I was thinking the same thing, but I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking, man. Did you know we're playing Saskatchewan this week? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This is Aaron next week, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I did, yes. Yes. So do you think, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? Yes. Is this the perfect time to have a watermelon explosion smoothie, or? Yeah, I'd say there's no better time than the, than the present. But I said on a scale of 1 to 10, and you didn't say. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, yeah, sorry, on a, on a, on a scale. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say this is a 10. Perfect time to have a watermelon explosion, man. Has, no better time than that. I found out this new trick what? last week. What? If you play with this drum, mm -hmm. you can kind of make a beat. It makes it a little squeaky. So if I make a beat with this straw, yes. will you freestyle rap over it? <laughs> I don't know about that. I'll freestyle if you freestyle first. That's out. <laughs> <laughs> That's out. <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't come here to freestyle. I came here to talk with you. I appreciate that. And, and what better to have during a nice conversation? Than a watermelon than explosion a watermelon from explosion Booster, from Booster Juice, Juice on Saskatchewan Game Week. Can't wait for this weekend. I don't know if you know this, but we are acting assistant CFOs today. Mm -hmm. And if I gave you one guess, what does CFO stand for? Oh, boy. Wow. Wasn't expecting the hard-hidden questions this mm -hmm, early. Mm -hmm. CFO, boy. Wow, I should probably know this. You should. Because I'm the acting CFO, and we're good friends. What yeah. in the <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Serge. That's it, huh? Anyways, what does CFO stand for? CFO, um, oh man, uh, uh, co-founder co of operations. <laughs> I don't even think that's It close. could. It's def O definitely stands for operations. It does, yes. The other one I think stands for Canadian football operations. <laughs> No chance. No, chief finance operator. Chief operator. finance op operator. And I'm the assistant. That's what I thought. I was just checking to make sure you knew. <laughs> the O definitely doesn't stand for operation. Yeah. I just got a word. It's officer. It is officer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Canadian football officer. Yeah, yeah. I was just making sure you knew. I'm <laughs> testing you here, buddy. I, I do have a question. As a Canadian teammate, mm -hmm. one of my favorites, might I add, Thank you. How much do you like booster juice? 
I'd say there's nothing better on a nice hot summer's day than a, than a watermelon <laughs> explosion. Serge, you gotta stop laughing over there, bro. Speaking of hot and summer days, it's yes. hot and summer outside right now. Yes, beautiful. Mmm, look at that. That's why we have these hats on. Yeah, gotta protect yourself, man. <laughs> 360 degree protection, man. <laughs> Is that what the bucket hat's for? That's exactly what it's for. I thought it was. Would you? Well, it, yeah, but when you're on the golf course and it's sunny out. You know, you like boom. to golf. I do like to golf. You're a really good golfer. Some would say. What's your best score? Best score ever? You're, you're about to show off. 82. Oof. What about you? What was the par? Par 71 or 72? Or 70? My best is an 80. <laughs> On a par three course. <laughs> but you know what made it better? What? I had a booster juice in the cart with me. With a bucky hat on, too. And a 360 UV protection. Watermelon explosion? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, brother. That was before I was the chief... Uh, the Canadian officer. football operator. <laughs> officer. Officer. That's it. <laughs> Who's your favorite American teammate? Oh, that's a tough one. You're gonna, you're gonna make somebody mad. That's a tough one, Better man. Not be me. No, that, uh, that's a. Uh, I mean, gotta go with the teammate. You know, I played with the longest. Um, you know, gotten to know him pretty well. He's a, he's a decent guy. Um, where's number thirty six on the field? Number one in our hearts, Aaron Grimes. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thanks, buddy. Cheers, bro. What's your favorite Canadian university? The University of Alberta. Oh, that. Oh. Wow. Really? Did I hurt your feelings? Yeah. That's okay. You know what? I realize you can't make everybody happy with your decisions. No, you can't. But when your intentions are pure, you go get a booster juice smoothie. That's what they say, watermelon explosion. To be exact. To be exact. Okay. On a hot summer's day, man. I got a question for you. Yep. What is your favorite Canadian city? Uh, that's easy. Vancouver. Okay. Why? No question. Let's pretend we don't see him. Why? <laughs> uh, You said, why is Vancouver my favorite city? Yeah. I grew up there. From there. It's an easy decision. You can, do, you can do everything there. You can go to the beach and the mountains in the same day. There's not many cities that you, you can do that. You know what I mean? Beach, mountains in the same day? In the same day. You're what other city do you Are you know waking up early to do that? Oh, uh, well, you don't have to because they're not too far from each other. Fair enough. You drive back down to the beach. Then you drive straight up to the mountains. I heard there's a lot of 20 cougars. minute drive. Cougars there though. Yes, there is a lot of cougars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We're talking about the same thing, right? Yes, we <laughs> are. The, it's pretty dangerous in the winter time. <laughs> are, are that when the cougars come out? It is when the cougars come out. Yeah. Is it's there pretty a dangerous. specific time of day you see more cougars than uh, Oh, other? yeah. Probably, uh, you know, late evening. Mm, and when everybody gets off work. Yes, when people are walking around. Okay, that's when the most cougars would be out. Well, that, that's generally when the cougars come out. I got, a, I got a serious question for you. Okay. Tell me after you take that sip so you can really focus. Because mm -hmm. this is so good, you can't focus. When it is delicious, okay. yeah. I need to know what your favorite Edmonton memory is. Favorite Edmonton memory? Not, not counting the Grey Cup. Wow. It's got to be something different. Wow, that's a tough question, man. A favorite Edmonton memory. I think if you take a sip of your watermelon explosion, it'll help you figure out the answer. Mm, that's a really tough question. That is. That's, that's a tough. really tough question. I'll put you question. on the spot. Um, I'm trying to think of the other years and stuff. Um, hmm, favorite Edmonton memory, man. Speaking of uh, hey. memories, uh, mine was when I 
found, finally found after seven years a Mexican restaurant with actual tortillas. Like, so here's the thing. Whenever you go to a restaurant, when the hell did he get here? <laughs> when, when did you? That's here, a nice let, hat. Let me give you guys a tip. Okay, whenever you guys go First question just, for you. For, I'm answering. Are those... <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's, why, that's why I'm asking you a question. Those on your, on your legs, short pants or long shorts? They're three quarters. What's that mean? Three quarter what? For, three, three quarter three, three shorts? Qu- they're three quarter gear. Okay. So, so the they're not pants there, or shorts. Yeah, for the soccer people out there, you can see three quarters. You know what I'm saying? They're not too short, not too long, it's not too hot, not too cold. I got a better question. Do you pay three fourths the price for them or do you pay full price? <sighs> it depends. On? If I know the person that's there, they can sometimes give us a discount, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't. You just gotta butter your way through it. Butter? Yeah. Explain that in detail. What type of butter are you using? <laughs> it just depends on how healthy I am that day. Okay. You know, some people use canola, some people use uh, olive oil. Canola <laughs> butter. So, random okay. guest that just popped in. I don't know if you know this, but on Smooth Talk with AG, I promised that I would ask the hard-hitting questions to figure out so the fans could get to know more about their team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there anything special you would like the fans to know that they don't already know about you? Wait a second. Before you answer that question, let me pour you a glass of watermelon explosion. Yes, please. Because we got a big game this week. Against. There, yeah, just a couple tastes to get your brain heads. going. That's actually crushed watermelon head. That's what we're looking forward to. <laughs> Smooth like your talks, puppy. Yay! Puppy! <laughs> we like it. You but. still haven't told the fans something oh, about you. No, something about me. Okay. So the night before, so I have a pregame ritual, right? Mm-hmm. It starts the night before, and it goes to the next day, right? It can be, see, look how smooth he is. You made it forcefully, but that was smooth. What did I do forcefully? I saw you do it. He did it without me even looking. You, but you were looking the, at Why me. you stuttered? I was not. You lost the battle. Okay. Can, can you let the fans know something about you? Yes. Yeah. So the night before the game is what I love to do. Is I love, you know, cooking, you know, the, the food the night before the game don't matter. But I watch, binge watch The Office. It is my comfort show. Okay. Right? It makes me forget about football. Okay. You know? Then the next morning, I can't wait to wake up. I find a local uh, breakfast joint. And I always get, not three, but four. Egg white omelet with bacon. Egg sausage. white? Yes. Why not the yolk? I don't like the taste. No cheese on the omelet, too. Okay, if they put cheese, mm. I return it back. Are you lactose intolerant? No. I love. You know they say there's more nutrients in the yolk than the egg white. Yeah, but I probably, no, but just, you know. This is how you like, know what's more nutritious l- l- Nutritious l- than eggs? A what? watermelon explosion. By booster juice. By booster yeah. juice. So I get a four egg white omelet. Hang on, hang on. Let's see who can drink their booster juice the best. Who's the smoothest booster juice drinker? You go first, right to left. Okay. Left to right for the audience. All right. Are we sipping or drinking? <laughs> that was all right, man. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, really I don't know. Throat swallow. Um, <laughs> oh, I was pretty quiet in here, bro. It's pretty quiet. That is good. You see the pinky? <sighs> so fan, well, we'll leave that up to the fans. Who did it best? Side, huh? The fans can vote. You know, leave in the comment section. All right, we got Konar, Poppy, or AG. I'm not saying you should be biased, but it is my show. Hey. Yeah, we're, we're the invites. That means we're the guests. I'm the no, guest. You didn't get I'm, the guest. <laughs> I'm the guest, man. You weren't invited. You just, you just, you came, you, you just showed you up, know, but we're happy to see why you. Why are you too nervous? You're studying too much, bro. We're happy to see you, though. That's all I'm trying you, to say. You, you sound like me with my English vocabulary. I it's lose not, it sometimes. <laughs> it's not that we didn't want you to enjoy a great booster juice. 
<laughs> but I only brought two. Two what? Watermelon explosions. Booster juices. Well, here's the thing. It's a double package because Kulner and I, we started morning together. I got a I got a... I'm here with him because he's in the morning. I've got a question. Yes. Do you think booster juice would help that ash between those fingers right there? Probably would. That's how smooth he was. Yeah. They're pretty damn smooth. It probably would help, especially a watermelon explosion. Yeah. I got a question. What size shirt is that? It's be, a, be honest. It's a large. Let me see. You know, I had to actually let Conor borrow one of my shirts because he was irresponsible. Now, I didn't get to iron it. As you can tell, it's a little. I got a question for you, Steve. <laughs> I got a question for you. What's your favorite place to go in Canada? Like to eat? Or to visit? Where's your favorite place to go in Canada? You know, to I'm eat, about, just to go. I'm about to go golf, and I, get, and I haven't eaten. I get myself a good boost of juice. The Funky Monkey. Ooh. Get that Whoa. protein in there, you know what I'm saying? What about today, though? What would you crave today? What type of booster juice? The Watermelon Crush. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Explosion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> watermelon <laughs> Crush. <laughs> Give me some more. I'm almost done. You crushed yours. Yeah. You, you. I you crushed, crushed those them. watermelons, you man. You crushed those watermelon heads. It's a big week, man. It is a big week. If this was your guys' interview, what would you call it? I would call mine just the leather couch talk with Adam Conor. I've seen that before. <laughs> okay. The huh? leather couch with AD. Yeah. AD? I mean AK. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought. AD. What's oh, it? you were talking about your name. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> he name, just bro. said the same thing. Yeah, I have to let the couch <laughs> yeah, with AD. Yeah, mine would be AD with AD. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite fruit? Watermelon. Okay. And grapes. If you could make a drink out of watermelon, what would you make? Watermelon crush. <laughs> What's the damn name? Watermelon explosion. <laughs> that was an explosion. Right? Bro, I am sorry, bro. I promise you I didn't mean to do that. But it's a damn crush. It's an explosion. You bro. look dead serious <laughs> into the camera too. Can I get a Watermelon <laughs> crush. I gotta wipe my man off, man. I got I got I got a question for you, AG. Hit me. Who's your favorite uh, former or current CFL player you've ever watched? Ever watched? Man, I don't watch a lot of film on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a lot of film on Surge too. Yeah. I actually watched film for the first time. <laughs> not too long ago. <laughs> what? He asked me for my password. I did. I like two, it. like a month or two ago. He's like, hey, what's your password for the film? I've never watched it before. <laughs> I, I, I literally never watched film. And when we go into meetings, I... What do you guys do in special teams meetings? So... The kickers. I don't know what other people do, but I read my book. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know this or not. But be a kicker. Be a kicker. Yeah. It's a smooth job. Kicker, punter, long snapper. If you had to name this smoothie, what would you name it? You. I think he's talking Coffee. to you, bro. Watermelon explosion. <laughs> <laughs> that, you got it. Sounded like it hurt to get that out. <laughs> yeah, Watermelon yeah, yeah. explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for both of you. Yep, shoot. Other than having booster juice after away games, mm. what is your favorite stadium to play in in the CFL? You and me first. Do rock, paper, you, scissors for who goes first. Winner goes first. Okay. Is it rock, paper, scissors? Rock, shoot? paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yeah. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Easy. You go first. No, you go first. <laughs> he said winner goes first. Oh, is that what you said? Pay attention. 
excellent. How does that make sense? But um, <laughs> or you can choose me to go. For I'm gonna have to go two stadiums for for myself. I've never heard of that place. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> um, BC place for one. Okay. Hometown, always fun to play there. Okay. Second one I always like playing in is uh, Montreal. 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 Why Montreal? It's just a cool, cool vibe stadium. Can I challenge you to give me one sentence in French? Uh, je m'appelle Adam. Oh. But he said my name is Adam. You don't say. Comme ça, comme ça. Mm. Your favorite stadium to play in? BC. Couple reasons. Number one. I didn't ask why, I just asked you which one. Favorite stadium to play in? Mm hmm. Commonwealth Stadium. Hey, G, really? Again? And now you have Sergio and Konar? This guy catches me every time. It's on you, man. And I always have to give him boosted juice. Sounds, that's I gotta give him boosted juice. You better give him a good cup. You better give him a good cup. So the guy doesn't tell on me. You better give him a good, good pour. I hope he doesn't mind that this is the dog dish. Oh, yeah. There you go. Watermelon explosion, sir. We'll call it even. I'm telling you it's simple, he just likes booster juice. <laughs> <laughs> he knows when the booster juice is in here. Wait till he takes the watermelon explosion. <laughs> He's gonna be the real. That stuff's the best, man. <laughs>